Hi guys, it's Manny here again, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to animate a character falling from a height. Okay, so uh, what I have here is a background, a really long background. You can see this right here is the character. This is my character and this blue part and this white part this white part is actually the cloud then the blue part is kind of like the sky um the idea is that he's falling from he's falling down from the sky okay so that's the whole idea so what i did is that i painted the background first it's really long if i zoom out you're gonna see that you're gonna see how long this actually is let me just go ahead and zoom that out set it to full screen mode and then zoom that out real good and you're just gonna see how long this is so it's gonna be falling all the way to this bottom right here so how we're gonna do that is that we're gonna move a character from frame 1 to the last frame where it's gonna be at the bottom right there at the last frame and then also move our camera from the first frame it's gonna be moved from the top to the bottom as well following the character but the background is actually gonna be stationary this background right here is gonna be stationary so um, in your spare time you can actually do something like this it could be anything it could be like a really tall skyscraper it depends on how much work you're, you're willing to put in so um, we're just gonna go ahead and do that but first I'm gonna set this loop limit to somewhere to, to the bottom right there it's really long but I'm sure it will do okay maybe get it to the bottom to the very end okay down 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 you go down you go it's really really long guys it's gonna be about five to six seconds duration let's see how long this actually is 300 so this will be about seven seconds I guess okay so once we said that we're just gonna move the character from top to bottom we first set the keyframe at the top and then set the keyframe at the bottom when he's at the bottom you understand okay so here's our character right there this is his column and I have two frames for for this character and the first frame is kind of like just so he does a little movement you know you're gonna see when I'm done the first frame is just one position and the second frame is another position so um, let's get right to it let's just go ahead and move this character with this animate tool move it okay we're gonna keyframe that first keyframe right there at the top and then go down to the last frame and then keyframe that at the bottom full screen so I could see the bottom we're gonna move our character down there it's really small because I'm I zoomed out very 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 well so we're just gonna move him to the bottom right there and then we're gonna move our camera as well so our camera kind of captures our character our character through the fall so let's go ahead and select our camera in this case I'm using camera tree so we come in tree and then from the first frame we're just gonna move it down to the last frame and then move the camera to the bottom so I could see that okay select that the animate tool again then full screen 
down to the bottom and set the camera right there to where the character is okay let's zoom in to see if that's accurate we want the camera to kind of capture the the character in this so just gonna set that right there okay so let's play this out and see how it plays out okay select the camera view only and then try to get the camera okay there it is camera view so this is it we have the camera moving from up to down and the camera following that as well okay zooming right there and then we're gonna just play this okay loop you can see that oh yeah and there's something I also wanted to show you guys we're gonna stop this so um, I see it as it's falling down like that we have a little movement it's doing a kind of um, like a movement like the wind is having an impact on his body right so I've, I've mentioned this earlier that I have two frames for this if you watch closely it's just two frames see that so it's just like a little one two one two right here on the right of my screen I've kind of drawn separately so that it it moves you grab and then I'm just gonna input the numbers in the format I want it to appear in this case I'm just using a, a frame of two two interval okay an interval of two frames right here it's very clear one two one two one two till the end and that's how we have a cam uh, character falling down the sky okay guys I hope you learned something today um, you can practice use a different background if you like any kind of background you could be a little more complex I just try to just take it simple right now because you guys might be new to all this so I just wanted to do like a, a simple stuff and yeah, this didn't actually take me too much time to paint. The background didn't take me too much time to paint. I just um, drew a big box, a very long um, rectangle, and then filled it with um, blue. And then I drew one cloud, and then copied and pasted, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, so it fills the rectangle, okay, to f kind of form a really long painting. Alright, so you don't have to um, draw each individual cloud. If you watch closely, all the clouds are the same. Okay, to save myself some work. Okay, so you could just, you know, be creative. Work smart, don't work hard. Okay, people. So, um, thanks guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Do well to subscribe. And then you're going to get more helpful tips like this. Okay, guys. Till next time, peace.